If you're administering a server or a device like a router or a firewall, you also want to be sure that your terminal type connection between your machine and that device is also encrypted. That's sometimes not a web page. So we use a different protocol for that. It's one called SSH that stands for Secure Shell. If you're using Telnet to log into your firewall or Telnet to log into your router, all of that traffic's in the clear. SSH allows us to create an encrypted connection between your computer and that device, which looks and feels the same as if you were Telneted into the device. But all of the communication between those two devices is completely encrypted. So you can be sure that if you're typing in sensitive information, passwords, and other things into a firewall or into a router or server, you know that you don't have to worry about somebody else tapping in there and seeing what you're doing because you're using SSH and the entire flow is encrypted. We've talked about doing encryption of web pages, encrypting our terminal sessions, but also we might need to transfer files from our machine to a server or to a firewall or to a router. And we want to be sure that that link is also encrypted. And there's a number of different ways to do this. The first one we'll look at is one called FTPS. That stands for FTP over SSL. And if you recall, with our web server, that also used SSL. So that is the same method that we use to encrypt to our web server as doing FTP. File Transfer Protocol Secure. That's really what that S is standing for. This is not something called SFTP. We'll talk about that in a second. But SFTP is a completely different way of encrypting data to transfer it through the network. So when somebody says, I need to do an encrypted file transfer, you need to ask, what type of encryption are you going to use? Are you going to use FTPS? Are you going to use SCP? which stands for Secure Copy. Now, Secure Copy uses SSH to transfer the files. So the same technology that we're using to perform our SSH terminal sessions is really what SCP is using as well. So if a machine supports SSH, it probably also can support SCP. This is a very simple technology. It's just used to transfer files. It doesn't allow you to do things like rename directories and make directories and delete things on the server. It's simply a way to copy files. And the last type of encrypted file transfer you'll probably run into is SFTP, which stands for SSH File Transfer Protocol, again using that SSH technology, the same as SCP. And this gives us some additional functions, like being able to resume interrupted transfers, look at directory listings, remove files from the server, it gives us a lot more functionality down at the file control level. So make sure that if somebody says, I need to transfer a file securely, that you know what your server supports. And when you configure your file transfer program, you make sure you put in the exact type of file transfer that that server will allow you.